Hey Free Life families, I hope you're having an amazing day. Before we get into what we have planned today, let's all stand up and get ready for worship. Today we're going to be learning about a man who trusted and listened to God, and his name was Joshua. But before we get into our Bible story, let's all listen to this song singing about trusting God.
Stories of the Bible, The Walls of Jericho. This is Joshua. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, who God used to bring his people to the Promised Land. Yeah, let's do it. When God told Joshua it was time to take the Promised Land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. <laughs> the spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey, hello. One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho. All right. But that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, well, huh? yeah, well. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers <laughs> and march around the city for six days. Burn. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout. Then what? And then the city walls would fall. Oh, yeah, let's do it. So Joshua said, shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! and the walls did fall. Go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. Rahab! They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago. That Bible story was so awesome. We learned about a man named Joshua and how Joshua was chosen by God to take God's people and lead them into a city. But the thing about this city is they had really big walls and it was impossible to get in. So how are they supposed to get in? Well, God gave Joshua some instructions. God told Joshua that he had to get soldiers and they were going to march around the city for seven whole days. Imagine marching around a city for <gasps> seven days. I would have been so tired. God told Joshua that on the seventh day, they had to march around the city seven more times. And on the seventh time, they all had to let out a great shout. Why'd they have to shout? Well, God said that when they shouted, that's how the walls would fall. Imagine hearing that if you shout, the walls would fall. That would have been so weird to listen to. But that brings us to our big idea. It's the big idea. We can trust God because he always keeps his promises. It must have been so weird for Joshua to hear these instructions and to march around the city and to shout. But because he listened to God and he trusted him, the walls fell just like God promised. So the walls fell on the seventh day. Wow, God really does keep his promises. He sure does. Now let's all go ahead and go into prayer so everyone bow your heads and close your eyes. God, thank you so much for teaching us that you always keep your promises. 
Help us to listen to you and do exactly what it is that you need us to do. We love you so much and we pray these things in your name. Amen. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. We hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Now let's see how much we remember with our good old friend, Space Goat. Roger, Roger. For thousands of years, people have looked up to the stars and wondered what's beyond. Thoughts of distant galaxies, strange planets, and possibly even life unlike any we've known on Earth. But no one could have ever imagined in the deep expanse of our universe lives one furry creature with four legs and a jetpack. Bob. His name is Space Goat, and he's here to help you. And he's here to help us. Here to help us answer life's toughest questions. led the Israelites into the Promised Land? Was it A, Joshua? Was it B, Moses? Or was it C, Brad? That's correct! Joshua led the Israelites into the Promised Land. Great job! Was the cord Rahab hung out of her window? Was it A, white? Was it B, scarlet? Or was it C, macaroni and cheese? Yes! The color of the cord that Rahab hung out of her window was scarlet. Well done, cadets. On which day did the walls of Jericho fall? Was it A, Christmas Day? Was it B, the sixth day? Or was it C, the seventh day? Well done, everyone. The walls of Jericho fell on the seventh day. Nicely done. Until next time, stay spacey, cadets.